Major speculation has broken out ahead of Prime Minister's news conference scheduled for the 3rd of January 2014. Sources have uh, told Times now that the PM has already made it clear that the UPA should name its PM candidate and that he is not in the running anymore. This, of course, as the chorus grows within the party to project Rahul Gandhi as the PM nominee. Most respectfully, may I submit, it is completely baseless. Uh, it is based upon conjecture, uh, insinuation, and it is totally out of order. I don't even think it should be dignified with a response. The fact is that you guys keep cribbing that the Prime Minister does not talk to the media enough, uh, notwithstanding the fact that he has delivered over 200 speeches and interacted with the media ad nauseum uh, over the past one year. And now that the Prime Minister has kindly consented uh, to talk to the press in the beginning of 2014, uh, to even uh, speculate uh, in the manner in which it is being done, uh, is I think in poor taste and uh, people need to refrain uh, from indulging in something which does not have any basis at all. While you're denying such things, uh, it's almost clear that there's going to be an AICC shake-up very shortly and a lot of major changes involving Rahul Gandhi are coming up. Well, I can only refer you back to the statement of the Honorable Congress President who said that at an appropriate time, appropriate decisions would be taken. So where is the fire? You know, let's wait uh, for the appropriate decision whenever it does come. Well, Sanket Upadhyay now joins us from uh, the political desk in New Delhi. Sanket, even while the government tries to dismiss these rumours, the fact is that this, the 3rd of January is going to be a big day as far as the Congress is concerned. We're going to see, likely perhaps, to see some major announcements. Now, take us to what you're hearing from your sources. Well, Lupur, one thing is very clear that, uh, you know, this is the fag end of uh, UPA2. And uh, at the beginning of the year, uh, there are about only three or four months left for uh, the UPA2. Uh, so at the beginning of the year, Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh wants to hold a press conference. The official reason, <coughs> I'm sorry, the official reason uh, for holding this press conference is, uh, uh, you know, to highlight the achievements of the past 10 years. Remember, he has been the only Prime Minister after Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to have served two consecutive terms uh, uh, from the Congress party. Uh, you know, it will be also interesting to see that in the Q&A session or the question answer session, when this question is obviously asked to him, what does he choose to reply? Now, from what we are gathering and from what the Prime Minister has in fact said in the past also, that he would be only too happy to give way to someone young and to say that he would be willing to work under the leadership of Rahul Gandhi, speculation is really rife as to what exactly uh, will he in fact firm up this strategy towards uh, the 3rd of January which means where he says that this is going to be his final term and he does not wish to uh, you know be the prime ministerial candidate for 2014 at this moment to this question in the past also we have seen the Congress party upon being asked repeatedly about this point whether uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh is going to captain UPA 3 or not if they were to come to power the UPA has said that we'll cross the bridge when we reach there so uh, it's not really clear whether Manmohan Singh is going to be their face in 2014.